three, two, one. Four and eight, that's something crazy. Um mm. has happened. Do you know what I mean? So See, I, I, I don't I, know. I just, went, I just went balls deep on Ben White, bro. Like when Ben White, <laughs> was, like, What happened with Ben White leaving um the England thing? I didn't even find out. Bro, what the, the guy openly admitted when he signed for Arsenal he doesn't watch football, he don't like football. I thought, well, mm. what a weird thing to say on the fucking opening interview at your fucking new club. <laughs> right. Mm. And then he goes to the World Cup based off of peer pressure. Yeah, let's pick let's pick Ben White. He then goes home for personal reasons. A couple of days later, Sterling goes home, comes back after his house has been robbed. He comes out and says what's happened, gets all of his family, brings them back, and then plays right against France. Ben White, personal reasons. Bro, personal reasons is like mental health. Oh, I can't come into work today. I've got personal reasons. Mm-hmm. You can't challenge that because that could be anything. And if you say, well, what do you mean? Well, I don't, I don't really want to talk about his personal. You can't force the issue on that, yeah? Right? Mm-hmm. Saying, oh, I can't come into work today. My mental health's not in a good place. If you now force that person to come into work, they can get the fucking union involved and blah, 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 yeah? Yeah. Right? So, in my opinion, he was just fucking bored sat on the bench watching football, bro. Yeah, which is what I said. Yeah, he was just bored. Bro, this guy openly admits he doesn't watch football. Now, Southgate's got him on the bench at the World Cup watching football. <laughs> like He sat watching the game. He could have been in Mykonos topping his tan up with his missus and that. Like, Facts. So yeah, I just and then he he put a tweet out the other day saying I'm back, baby. Well, well, if it was that deep, then you wouldn't be back yet. Yeah, and then there were stories doing the rounds um, before his tweet. So maybe about a week after he came back, what saying did he tweet? He had a massive bust up um, with the one of the coaches, uh, not Southgate, but somebody else. Yeah, because um, he was supposed to study. They were all supposed to study the USA, and then come in and oh, and he say, didn't do it. And he didn't do it. Yeah, so then he had a big bust up in front of everyone, apparently. So I did a video on it. And I said, well, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, and then everyone's going, no, the truth will come out one day. Well, no, that is the truth. Because you don't go home for personal reasons. And then a week later, the truth comes out. And now another truth comes out. And you haven't cleared anything up in between. That is the truth. Because there's a mole in the England camp. And especially when fucking Maguire and Shaw are there. You know what I mean? Yeah, Steve Holland, that's it. 100%, bro. That guy was just bored. He was sitting there thinking, all my powers are in fucking Mykonos <laughs> yeah, or fucking Miami or wherever. My bird's going nuts. And I don't like football. And Southgate's got me sat here watching football. Yeah, sat here like a prick, man. Yeah. No, yeah. I hear that. That's a strange yeah. one, though. It's, it's a strange one. I can't lie. Um, He's never come out and said anything about it. He played for us against Juve the other day. He played against Luton last night. We drew nil-nil with Luton. With fucking Luton. The only two players that played in that game from the start that weren't real starters were Rob Holden and Cedric. Everyone else played. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Saliba's not back yet, and Tierney never played. And Zinchenko's still injured, apparently. But Party played, Ramsdale played, Gabriel. Why can Zinchenko still be injured? He didn't go to the World Cup, what? And he's still injured. Bro, if I speak, I'm in big trouble. Bro, he was supposed to be out for two international games before the World Cup in the last international friendlies. Yeah, and he was suspended for one of them, I think. But he was supposed to be back after that. Bro, he ain't been back since. Wow. Yeah, Tommy Asu's apparently got a hamstring injury. Like, who knew? Like, that guy's always injured. Yeah, mm. Reese Nelson done done a, an injury the other day against um, Juve. I think it was Juve after 20 minutes. Um, maybe Milan. I can't remember what game. I think it was Juve. And uh, and Smith Rose had a setback after his injury, uh, after his surgery. Sorry. Yeah. Man, oh so shit, like Ben White, bro, you you, bro, Ben White's not gonna fuck you. Real talk. Like <laughs> Ben White. Oh, hold on, what, so what you're telling me, yeah, is that, bro, <laughs> Arsenal in a much worse nick than they were um, before. Yeah, but bro, I've been saying this, and people just want to pick up the fucking rug and sweep everything under it. So when I'm saying if we get Jesus injured, we're in trouble. Our bench is a disgrace. It's championship level. Then what happens if this guy gets injured or this guy gets injured? Now, if Saliba ain't even back in training until tomorrow, we've got a game on Monday. So after two or three training sessions, is he going to start against West Ham after Mm. he's not played football for six weeks? I don't know. I don't know because he hasn't played the warm-ups. Like Saka played last night. Uh, Martinelli played last night. Party, Xhaka. Like... 
I don't know. Like we we need signings, bro. And I've been saying this, but you you have to just you have to just know no, it's all going good. We're five points clear. Brush it under the mug, uh, the mug, the rug. Uh, the brush rug. it under the rug, your mug. Yeah, and um, <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? And and then when I call this stuff out and I say it as it is, people get the hump, bro. I'm telling you now, if we our January fixtures, we, well, our December fixtures, we got West Ham and Brighton before the end of the year. Brighton away, West Ham at home, Boxing Day, Brighton on New Year's Eve. Then 3rd of January, Newcastle at the Emirates. That ain't going to be easy. And then nope. we, we've got Tottenham away on the 15th. And then we've got Man United. Bro, by the yeah. end of January, we could be fourth or third or something. Yeah, real talk. Cool. Your, your pictures are tough, bro. Like, when I, when um, Deluded was going through them, I couldn't believe it, bro. Like, yeah, it's peak, bro. This Gabriel Jesus injury, yeah, couldn't have come at a worse time. But you know we have mean? to back Eddie and Kenya, bro. It's Eddie's season, apparently. Yeah, and the guys yeah. played the last two games and they scored a fucking goal against Juve C team and against Luton. <laughs> 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 like, do you know what I mean? Like, but apparently this guy is going to keep us going. No, we need to go and buy someone real quick. Yeah, I want a mm. deal done by the 1st of January. Yeah, as soon as that clock strikes midnight, yeah, I want Arsenal to drop a, 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 a tweet, yeah, or a post or a sank on their website saying Arsenal have signed a player. Yeah, because if they haven't, yeah, we're in trouble, mate. Yeah, and I said at the start of the season, we're going to finish fifth. I'm, I'm still going to stick with that for now. Yeah, it's been a great start. We've been the best team in the league to watch. We've got the best defence with Newcastle. We've had some great performers. It's been great, but this World Cup's cocked it up. It came at the wrong time for us. And now we've got an injured player who's our best player or most influential, should I say. Maybe not our best, but he's definitely the most influential. We've got players coming back from World Cup that have played. Some haven't played. Saliba played 40 minutes. He ain't even back yet. Why? Why ain't you back yet? Know, if, Mbappe's, if Mbappe's back in training, yeah, how the fuck is this guy who's played 40 minutes of football in six weeks not the first guy back in training, waiting. And, for you, the did, and you didn't win. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit different for players that won because they're out celebrating. But, bro, get your ass home. What the fuck? Facts. Bro, absolute facts. I said this the other day, yeah? If, if he don't turn up for training real quick, then I'm fuming. And I'm fuming, bro. You've done nothing for six weeks apart from 40 minutes. You've had a holiday in Qatar. That's how I see it. You've yeah. had a holiday in Qatar for six weeks. You played 40 and minutes. Also you've been, and also, you've been training as well, so you're fit. So get your ass back and help your team. Exactly. Like, that's why I, that's why I uh, bigged up Granite Xhaka. Granite Xhaka, as soon as he got knocked out, I'm coming straight back. <clears throat> yeah, big up to you. Yeah, well, why are you going on holiday? Why do you need an extended break? You did fuck all for six weeks. Like, it makes no sense to me. Like, these players that are, um, I think Tommy Asu was in Japan until um, the beginning of this week. Why? Why? Well done. You played three group games uh, or whatever, or three games or whatever. One of them was 120. Who gives a fuck? Get back to training. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to go to Japan to go and chill with a family and that. Get back. Yeah, mm. big up that. And, and listen, as much as I don't like certain players, big up Mbappe. Three days later, he's back in training. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the French national team probably never left the night of that, uh, of that final loss. They probably stayed for another day. Yeah. Had a meeting, had some training. Like blah blah blah. Then they went back, had a day to themselves. Then he came back. Yeah, fair play. I rate that. Yeah, you ain't won nothing. What the fuck are you having time off for? 